Well, she's the last person you'd suspect of being a criminal mastermind, but grandmother Rebecca Assey is the brains behind a lucrative welfare fraud that lasted decades and made her a fortune. Hello, Rebecca. You've been up to your old schemes again, haven't you? Shut up. Shut up. Crooks come in all shapes, sizes and ages. Like grandmother, Rebecca Assey. While you're hard at work paying taxes, this 62-year-old is stealing them, big time. If you're stealing from welfare, you're stealing from your fellow Australians. Cheated on welfare since 1990, while running a how-to-rort Centrelink school for other fraudsters. And when police finally came knocking, they found nearly a quarter of a million dollars in cash in her Housing Commission home. That's the home you're paying for. Her latest incredible fraud in a moment, but first, a recap. Behold, you're watching a modern day miracle. For 21 years, Rebecca received the disability pension, claiming she was blind. It's a gift from me to you. We don't need it, sir. I you don't, don't need it? But you... No, she never had a white cane while taking sunny walks with family and friends, operating the mobile phone, getting in the car, emptying the garbage. She did it all. Yes, she even had a driver's licence. No cane, no seeing eye dog, no glasses. You've done remarkably well for someone who is blind. Yeah, what do you want? And let me repeat that, 21 years she claimed the disability support pension thanks to you. You said your doctors in Lebanon told you that you were permanently blind, yeah. that it was a hopeless case. Is it hopeless? Don't talk to me. No. How? It was a little tougher here, but after an initial Aussie knockback, she shopped around and eventually found a doc who said she was blind. You're right, walking back, do you need some help? Yes, Rebecca had been having a lend of us. But now, a bigger rort has been uncovered since I reported that first blind sighting of us taxpayers. Without the shackles of blindness, Rebecca has not a care in the world and is ready for another big day out, possibly buying a toothbrush because she's facing time in the slammer for this latest indiscretion. You see, Rebecca has just pleaded guilty to dealing with money reasonably believed to be the proceeds of crime and conspiring with others to rip off Centrelink. The Centrelink cheat worked hand in hand with her now dead husband, Jamal Alali, on quite a scheme. Their modest public housing abode doubled as a TAFE for tricksters. The pair would complete Centrelink forms for fraudsters, giving them advice on seeking out doctors who would turn a blind eye to their cheating ways. Sometimes she'd even go to the doctors with them, in case the GP asked too many questions. This woman was a star student. After graduating with a fistful of Rebecca ideas, she told Centrelink her daughter had ADHD, when the child didn't, and subsequently got 66 grand in payments. We have seen organised criminals ripping off money in the childcare sector, ripping off money from the government and therefore from their fellow Australians. Minister for Social Services Paul Fletcher points out the repercussions these gangs have on all of us. Every dollar that goes to somebody who's not entitled to it is a dollar that could be used to put vital life-saving drugs onto the pharmaceutical benefit scheme. But back to Rebecca, who didn't have a hankering for a Big Mac, but she didn't mind their toilets. Here she would meet her Centrelink frauding students away from prying eyes. After giving them the fraudulent advice they needed, she demanded from them a kilo and a half of sweet grapes, or perhaps two kilos. No, not real grapes. That was code. A kilo and a half was $1,500. Two kilos was two grand. You see, 
The cops were listening in and they soon discovered what all the code words meant. When the federal police came knocking, they found five different mobile phones she used to communicate with her customers. And in that bedroom, they found a safe with more than $244,000 cash inside. And the you-know-what hit the fan at number five. So just as well she bought the 18-pack. Wherever there's a big pot of money, you're going to find people working in the shadows in an organised way, criminals going after that money. With $180 billion being spent on welfare, Minister for Human Services Michael Keenan says the government is prosecuting people such as this greedy granny like never before. In the last four years, we've managed to save $3 billion. Um, that's because we ramped up our compliance efforts when we came to office. In the end, federal agents worked out ASSI's students defrauded taxpayers of just over $137,000. At least six of her students have been charged and two jailed. Rebecca, can you hear me? Last time you were blind. Are you deaf and dumb now? Hello? Can you hear me? She'll soon be hearing a magistrate, though. Currently on bail, she's yet to find out her fate for masterminding her latest scheme. We'll find you, we'll catch you, we'll prosecute you, and you may well go to jail. But in the meantime, she continues to live in her publicly funded home. Rebecca Assey will be sentenced in July.